couple of ampules for us. And we can get in the elevator. From here, the only button that works is the basement. So down we go. And we're greeted with water, and lots of it. And we're not alone in here. There's a lying figure in the water. Unfortunately, it's quite well hidden this way. Basically, just force your way past and get into the bar as quickly as possible. Time for a bit of suspicious video game generosity. Five health drinks. Ever get the feeling something really bad is coming up? And man, that unsettling sound in the background. In the kitchen, we get some shotgun shells. And a first aid kit. And the refrigerator still won't open. And we also get some rifle shells. Definitely good to have on hand. All we can do in here is slowly head toward the stairwell. Oh, you stood up. You want a bashing. Very well. One final planking. Why not? Into the stairwell with us. But things aren't as they seem. We've found Angela again. what I thought. James, give me back that knife. No, I, I won't. Save 
saving it for yourself? Me? No. I never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Now that last line is rather telling. Her saying that for her, it's always like this. We're getting a glimpse here into Angela's other world. For her, it's a world of fire, of pain, a true hell on earth. Angela is a fairly tragic character. One can't help but feel sorry for her. I rather wish there was more you could do for her. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be. All we can do is move on. Eddie and Angela have moved on to face their fates. Now it's time for us to face ours. We have a rather misty hallway here. If we look on the map, we're in the video area. I mean, the place where we found the tape. We can try looking around in here a bit anyway. Oh, there are a couple of ampules there. I'm rather glad I went back to find those. <laughs> I actually didn't know those were there. Interestingly, the main office is now covered with police tape, though he doesn't seem to have any comment about that. On the map, it would look like this place leads us outside of the hotel. But yet we're in this enclosed hallway with a couple of mandarins underfoot. So let's just keep running. Now suddenly we're in front of the lobby, and off the map. That's interesting. So we have a great ominous double door here. And nine save squares. Nine. Ever get the feeling the game is trying to tell you something? I think we should take its advice and have a refreshing pause, don't you? We've reached Hotel First Floor Hall. I'm glad you can tell where we are, James. <laughs> so yes, with this rather ominous display, refreshing pause. Okay, time to go check those double doors. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Two pyramid heads, that's not good. I was weak. That's why I needed you someone to punish me for my sins. That's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. 
Yes, we're facing off against two pyramid heads, and uh, not with a plank. Definitely not the best of ideas, that. I kind of want to consolidate them into one as much as possible here. And they're both attacking with spears now. This unfortunately means they're a bit more mobile. And they can still hurt a good bit. You really want to get one shot and then run. Though there are other options, just for fun. Go ahead and reload this as long as I'm in here. But, uh, how about a little karmic retribution? You want your knife back? I'll give you your knife back. Of course, that does become a battle of attrition, but it's still satisfying somehow. And hey, I have the health drinks to eat through this. Let's go ahead and use an ampule. Got plenty of those. This battle kind of works like the first encounter with the pyramid head that you have to fight. It's mainly an endurance thing. Sooner or later, they'll run away from you. And thus, the end of Pyramid Head. Nothing you can do to him makes a difference. They finally have to settle on destroying themselves. Pyramid Head won't move anymore, and it looks like he's holding something. A rust-colored egg. And this one has a scarlet egg. They left parting gifts. How nice of them. The doors are locked, but they have indentations on them. Conveniently enough, in the shape of an egg. It doesn't actually matter which egg you put where, or even which door you go through in the end, just so long as you do put an egg in each door. Wait a minute, did I just notice something in the inventory? I'll check it again when I go and put in the other egg, but... Wow, that's that was even stranger if what I thought I saw was indeed true. Yeah? Now not even the envelope exists anymore. <laughs> now that's a mind screw! <laughs> wow, okay, uh, right, putting in the scarlet egg. <laughs> that was interesting. I didn't know it quite went that far. So, yeah, it doesn't actually matter which door you go through, just pick a door and go through. Because, in fact, there's the other door we could have come through. So where are we exactly? Pretty much the only indication seems to be to go forward down this hall.